James Mullinis. We have this splendid wine ahead. This is Don Melchor Contra y Toros. Top tier. This is the Tetu Cuvée Cabernet Sauvignon that they do produce. So here's the top tier wine from Contre Toro called Don Melchor. It is a Tetu Cuvée of the house and a 2015 vintage Cabernet Sauvignon from the Puente Alto region and a splendid, beautiful, gorgeous wine. Here's the back label. I have completed reviews from 2009 to 2014, missing 2013, but every single year has been splendid and been a showcase beautiful wine of this house, showing the beauty of the Puente Alto region and I think it's absolutely splendid. So this wine is 92% Cabernet Sauvignon. It's gonna be 7% Cabernet Franc and 1% Petit Verdot. It's registering in at 14.3% ABV. Now this wine is uh, French oak. Now it's spending 15 months in 69% new French oak and 31% second use French oak. Now I think this wine is something I look forward to and $120 suggested retail price point. Now I'm gonna stop there just for a moment and say up north, where I live, I live in San Francisco. So there's some wine countries, and I would say that you can taste a lot of Cabernet Sauvignons that are even more expensive than this. And I would say for this price point, it's actually not that expensive for that special experience that you want from a Cabernet Sauvignon. So for me, I think this wine is uh, magical and glorious. So the tans are absolutely beautiful and splendid. I can imagine this wine aging for 25, 30 years plus. And uh, I do love aged Cabernet Sauvignon. But for me, I think it's nice to taste right now. I'm privileged to taste it, privileged to review it. So uh, first of all, the point score, 95 points out of 100 points. And I think this is showing a nice integration of fruit, but also the spice and also slight floral characterization, as well as the herbaceous qualities, which you would expect from a Cabernet Sauvignon or any Bordeaux variety wine. So on this wine, I'm getting notes of uh, boysenberry, blackberry, dried stacked wood, as well as uh, dried herbs and uh, moist leaves in a forest and uh, the autumnal sense of that. So when the leaves become part of the earth and have a beautiful characterization, it's really represented in the nose of this wine here. So here we go with the uh, palate characterization. So blackberry, heirloom blackberry, a bit of uh, black cherry confit, thyme, tarragon, and a bit of uh, pepper notation. Rose petals really coming through. So this is a fantastic wine for that special meal you want to enjoy for this winter holiday season and something to enjoy with a variety of dishes. So it's going to pair nicely with lamb and beef. I'm thinking ribeye. I'm thinking uh, tomahawk steak. There's a lot of things you can do with this beautiful, gorgeous wine here. So pork loin is also going to go well with this wine. Absolutely encapsulating the beauty of Chile, Puente Alto. Don Melchor, 2015 Vintage, 95 points. Thank you for watching and do me a favor, support this channel by uh, subscribing right up here and also the questions and comments down below. Give a like down below. Come on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Thank you for your support. Many more videos to come. So a big thank you. I appreciate your support and uh, many more wines on my wine table. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more. Sante and salud.